guys, what is up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today for the first time I'm going to be checking out Echoes of Soul. Now, this is my first impression because I've never touched this game before. I heard about it, but never touched it. So, what I'm going to do is try it out for you guys and give my, like, opinion on it. Now, I'm not going to try and get, like, extremely far in the game. I'm just going to be giving you guys just a little bit of taste of it. So, you guys can see if you guys want to try it out so far and give it a, a shot or if you guys just don't like it from just the start itself so let's get into it and get started first we're going to create our character all right so it looks like we have three different classes the warrior the rogue the guardian the sorcerer the archer and the warlock so I'm probably gonna go with rogue since that's the closest thing to a brawler I can get to okay I was itchy let's keep going now hopefully it it isn't gender lock uh, it, it seems to be gender lock body yeah it's gender locked I thought we got past the whole gender lock phase of MMOs, well, RPGs, but apparently we still are in that era. Now we can see our different outfits that we can put on. Oh, I love that hat. But I love this more. <laughs> now that looks epic. I want that. Headphones are nice. But I'm in love with this. Seems like they have several different things for us to try. I love this little uh, scarf too. So far it actually looks like it has a pretty in-depth uh, costumes. But less of an in-depth like character creation. I love that hair. I might go with that. But it seems like their hair is actually pretty good. Not like made in just like a few seconds. Because a lot of MMOs look like they just pretty much threw hair together and just said that is what we're going to go with. Even though this is kind of the same too but it looks like they tried to put effort into it. Alright, that hair looks similar to ours, so we're going to go with that one. Now, it doesn't look like we can change skin color. Face. Oh, no, we can. I have one eye. Can we zoom in? Yes, we can. Alright, I'm liking the customization so far. It may not be in depth, but it's actually pretty good. I wanna go with green eyes because I do like I just love the color green. Oh that's sick. You could actually have uh, different color eyes. I'm gonna uh, choose a different eye for you guys so you guys can actually see. I'm gonna try to choose a different color too. Well, you guys still won't see that any better. Ah, demon eyes. I like that one better with this. So, you guys have. Oh, that is sick. <laughs> you guys have tattoos as well. Alright, design's pretty good. I won't lie. This is like something I would get into in my spare time. Oh, those are Rock Lee eyebrows. That better not be. But I love this. This is what got me. I'm a little bit taller. Our character is really shaping up to be us. <laughs> well, to be me at least. You guys know usually my characters never end up like me inside of games. Ah, dope. Alright, let's get into the game. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? No? 
You guys already played the game? Alright. Well then. Oh, so you can only kick people from the party by majority vote. So the leader can't actually kick anybody, like, straight up, is what I'm guessing. You have to get majority vote for somebody to get kicked. That, I don't know about that. In the beginning, gods and giants, bound by blood and hate, fought one another for supremacy. I'm going to skip that. I uh, skipped the video so you guys can watch it yourselves. It looks like I'm a little bit too tall. Just a little bit. But you know... Yeah, my legs are a little bit too tall. <laughs> a rip. Oh well. Captain Bellos, we'll need your help. Alright, I shall go to Captain Bellos. But what is this? Oh, these are helps. The world of Echo Soul. This tutorial will take you through the basic game mechanics. Okay. The top of your game screen displays basic info about your character, such as name, level, and current HP. Okay. The mini map in the upper right corner gives you information about your surroundings, such as the location of NPCs and quests. Beneath the map, you'll find more detailed information about your current quests and how to complete them. Use the menu to access windows such as character info, achievements, quest list, All right. skills, mm -hmm. souls, mm -hmm. dungeons, nice. PvP, game options, community, or the cash shop. Info that you'll need for battle, such as your character's level and HP, are displayed at the bottom of your screen. Noted. You can place skills and items in quick slots to save time in the heat of battle. Get social with your Soul Keeper comrades by making small talk in the chat window to the bottom left of your screen. Right where I'm covering. The chat window is your party window. Once you've joined a party, you'll be able to quickly check in your party members' HP and stats. Why am I automatically in a guild? I hate it when games do that. I hate it when games throw you automatically into a random guild. But we're all online anyway. Whatever. Anywho. Now, it's actually pretty awesome that your tutorial actually talks to you. That is actually Use the w, pretty interesting. S, A, and D keys. Alright, I really hope we weren't going to go down the whole line of that. The only way to fully experience the massive world of Echo of Main Soul quest. is by completing Several various questions. quests. Alright, for those of you guys who are new at MMORPGs, you guys can go through that whole tutorial. Or if this game interests you, you, you guys can with your go through keeper, all this. Press the enter key. But I'm going to skip it all because I know mostly everything they're going to tell me. And... We just need to really get into the game right now. I want to fight something. So let's go check out a little bit of the game and see what it has to offer. Could you help me? Sure, I could help you. Our character runs a little bit weird. Oh, well, I didn't get the quest. Alright, where are these troopers? Only one of you guys? Alright, that's easy enough. Okay, so it seems you can't like, it's not like a, a mixture of action and MMO. You can't like move around and attack even though you kind of want to. It's pretty much like a standstill. I'm pretty sure there's like um, actual dodging, like they'll give like a sign of a, like a powerful attack coming and how you can dodge it, maybe. But at the moment, it just doesn't seem like you can move around and attack. It's like one of the standard old um, MMOs. Yeah, as you're moving, you don't attack. And can't use your um, skills as you move. Level up. Now, is there any... 
All right, doesn't seem like you can put in points, so it doesn't have that. Because usually there's a few MMOs that allow you to, like, buff up one stat. Like, if you had attack or defense, you could put points into, like, attack or defense. It doesn't have that. So, we can cross that off the list. Oh, okay. Stop running into rocks. Doesn't seem like pathing is going to be uh, a thing. But, they do give you, like, some, um... Some little arrows to point to you in your right direction so I have to take out this guy well not take out this guy I have to uh, get the plants all right got the plants now I'm gonna go up here and rescue some people I'm gonna rescue you guys don't worry it's gonna be stealth they'll never see it coming because basically I am a ninja See, I told you guys, they would never see me. You know what, screw all the rest of you guys. I'm just gonna, you know, save those guys. Hello. I got your quest now. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so we have to come out here and talk. Okay, there's some more players actually starting the game. I'm Ricky General number 9. I, I... I'm not a newbie, it says rookie, I swear. Well, hello, sexy demon floating lady. I shall do any quests you give me. I shall obey. Do your eyes work? Hold on. You, you like glow, that is pretty weird. Oh god, I, I thought she vanished for a second. I was like, okay. She saw that I was checking her out. Ah, oh, okay. They're water imps. It's so weird. Each time I get in battle, it dings for some reason. So it seems like we have a stamina bar, too. Yeah, we have a stamina bar. I gotta say, the game is actually pretty fun. Even though it's not, like, action-oriented. It's still pretty fun. You guys know I I love action MMOs above like regular MMOs. I love MMOs that I can actually move around and avoid attacks and avoid unnecessary damage. Level me up. Alright, I'll go talk to that person. He's a hundred meters away. That is kind of a long walk. Can't you just teleport me there? You look magical. So it looks like I have acid now. So that's more dodge damage. Jesus. I think all of my skills are dodge damage. Except for my normal attack. And my second attack. But all four of these skills are dodge damage. You need something? Oh, I, I have not been putting this on. I've just been ignoring it. Not even worried about it. For this item. Hey. No, I don't. Sweet. Got achievements. But, I'm happy they did have at uh, sort your items because a lot of uh, MMOs uh, back then didn't really have that. A lot of MMOs had it, but not a whole bunch of them is what I was trying to say. You're having a, quite a jog over here. Oh, I thought I was going to insta-kill that guy. Oh, looked like we got to our first boss. Greetings. I want to fight him. Unlock the new achievement. Let me in. Let me at him. Up, oh, cutscene. Up, oh, nope, just an instant change. Okay. Immune to sleep, stun, and diz effect. You're mistaken. I didn't get to re read the rest of it because I killed him. All right, I murdered that guy. The fate of this world is in your hands. Why does the fate of the world always have to be in my hand? In every RPG, you guys always put it in the fate of my hands. 
Why can't I ever be in the fate of yours? Okay, I have red wings. That actually looks pretty awesome. All I want is oh god. Is like a logo of this. Well, the mask at least. Just just the mask. Nothing else. I don't even need the face or anything else. I just want this logo. Hold on. Let me just get a thumbnail of this. So now we're going to move on and head on back. Now the only thing that bothers me is my epic music went away. Why? But my epic music. Everything was the so... The messenger allows you to chat with friends you've made in the echo of... Yes, I know. You know, my epic music is gone. It was all warrior-y. warrior re -bell. That would never be a word. Why did I say it? You know, I'm in a jug later. I probably should have said uh, warrior-ish. At least. You know, just, just a little bit of delay inside of my thinking process. I just had to get that out there. Probably should have said that. Alright, I was trying to test to see if I have multi-target. It seems like you can only focus on one target. Well, at least with this class. But, that's pretty much um perfect because rogues are supposed to be like a focus on one warp point registered okay but like i was saying rogues are supposed to be like a single target focus oh some of you guys have noticed the three m's I'm glad I can count on you. don't judge it it's, it's just there so the reason i always hated to um automatically join guild thing is because I'd never been much of a guild person unless I had a reason for it or unless it had perks for me that I would need or would want. Um, at the moment, I don't think that there is. Hold on. Alright, bonus gold. Uh, cost to repair. XP. Okay, wow, okay. And I feel like this is mostly PvP stuff, but yeah. Those are mostly PvP stuff. So I have no use to, for guilds. But I am trying to look for a way out of it, if that is a thing. No, well. I am trapped here forever. Against my will. Wait, what is this? Do I have mail? Um, I got I got something for the team. I got a seven day white ant eater. I'm going to use it right after I check this. Uh, you got a pet? Why not? Just the typical YouTuber thing to do. Hey, come on, YouTube. Just waddle. Waddle like you mean it. He's actually waddling. Oh my god, kill me. I'm just gonna attack the guy that you're beating up. Mostly because, um. Oh, well, you don't care. So, is aggroing a thing anymore? Oh, wait, never mind. He's. Oh, so he's good. So, yellow means good now? Okay. So, usually yellow for me and other games mean they're just not aggressive. And so, when you're near them, they won't come after you. So, in this MMO, yellow means they're friendly. Hmm. I guess orange means they're not aggressive in this game. And red means they are aggressive if they see you near them. Or if they're aggroed. Hmm. Interesting. 
So I can climb slopes. Sweet. Under that falling down rock barrier bullcrap. Whenever you need to purify souls or recharge your rest bonus, simply visit the Soul Sanctum. Okay. These sanctums can be found in camps across the globe. A fully charged rest bonus allows you to earn additional XP in battle. Noted. Kill monsters to collect chaos souls. Though valueless on their own, you, as a soul keeper, have the ability to purify these souls. Chaos souls can be purified into four different kinds of souls. Hope, innocence, courage, and peace. These purified okay. souls can then be used to perform powerful skills or to craft items in conjunction with professions and hobbies. Souls of all types are stored in your soul satchel, which can be opened using the menu or by pressing the V key. Enter the number of souls you wish to purify and click the purify button. Each purified soul requires two chaos souls. Ah, okay, interesting. So, hope is pretty much increasing your crit, your accuracy, your piercing, and your attack speed, and your XP. As for innocence, it's defense, PvP, defense, and XP. For courage, it's attack, attack speed, XP, and for peace, it is max HP and XP. So, peace doesn't seem like a thing I want to go with for. So it's either between carriage or hope is what I want to put all my points into. V. Uh. Purified. The new achievement. Oh. Wait. So it just goes into. Okay. I don't have to pick. Pick which one. All right. Speed up the purification process by teaming up with a fellow soul keeper. Okay. Co-op purification can be performed even when no soul sanctum is present. It's also more efficient. Each purified soul only requires one chaos soul. Once a fellow soul keeper has sent out a co-op purification request, just select them and right-click the target window. You'll then be able to choose co-op purification from the menu. Are you forcing me to do this? I don't work, work well with others. Just letting you know. Wait, what did that say? Send help immediately. We've been right over. Oh god, god darn it! It always has to be a horde of goblins, right? Always. So what I? Nope. Can't find anybody who can uh, who wants to do it, but it was a it was a uh, pretty much just a shot to see what would it do. So it pretty much like pretty much sends like a sends like a request. So wow, it actually forces you to do it. Nah, I'm good. I mean, screw that quest. Quest was abandoned. It'll be fine. Not like it's the end of the world. For that quest, uh, actually try to force you to communicate with others. Is actually. Eh. Do you need something? Not something I would go for. Oh, sweet! So you can actually pick a mount. Okay, that's actually dope. You can actually go to a, a guy who would give you a mount, then you could just pretty much spawn one and walk across the land. Really? That's how we sit as a rogue. That that is how we sit as a rogue. Dope. All right. This was once. The most peaceful town in Levens. Then the goblins appeared and started terrorizing our home. Alright, so pretty much in a nutshell of what happened is the goblins are attacking everybody, killing everybody. Everything was peaceful until the goblin nation attack. Could you help me? But Please, we're gonna I don't want to die. probably ended up here. Right after these last two quests, we're gonna end it off and pretty much call it a uh, video. Get wrecked, bro.
Okay, the dinging's getting on my nerves. What? What is it? Like, it's happening every time. Okay, I'm not even doing anything and I'm getting some kind of ding. I'm not even fighting. I don't think I have anything else up. That would be a bitch if I just... Hey, 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 hey. Back off. If there was like a second app up, just dinging in the background. But it doesn't look like it's a second app. Because it didn't do anything. Like, until I actually started up the game. Thanks for the help. Yeah, get out of your safe barrel. It's probably safer inside the barrel than anything. Alright, let's get this guy out. Thanks for the help. Wait, is it just when... Don't tell me it's just when they aggro on you. I literally think it's when enemies aggro onto you that that's a thing. Hold on. Yes, it's when a enemies aggro to you, it makes that ding ding noise. Why is that a, why is that a thing? Well, I won't judge it. Some people uh, actually enjoy to know when an uh, enemy aggro's onto them. What? That guy could leave the guild, but I can't? Could you help me? That is anarchy. Please, I don't want to die. But I'm gonna end it off here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, we spent a a bit of time, you know, playing the game. Um, I actually like it a little. Is Your it something that I would like ex play extremely often? Maybe not. But I like the character design. I like like some of the um, features it has now I can give a few cons of just playing it for a while one I guess you can call it a sort of a con is there's no auto tracking and second they automatically put you inside of a guild which I don't know why they would do that I hate automatic guilds. Uh, can I leave? Ah, oh, I can. So to leave the guild, you have to right click and actually leave. Now, if I do play this game, you guys can always add me. It's Wolf MMO, but with three M's. Uh, three is no map clicking location moving. Like, Usually other games have it, but, you know, that's still pretty much, you know, eh. Some people can get used to it, some people can't. So that's just pretty much in the con list. Alright, now that we're at the cons, the pros are it has good customization. Well, for me, from my point of view, some of you guys probably won't like the customization a little. Because you guys are more into the in-depth ones. Uh, oh yeah, another con is it's gender lock. Well, and sort of race locked for some reason. I'm pretty sure the warlock, the warlock is race locked. I'm pretty sure we passed all that inside of the RPG community, but apparently not. Another pro is that no, they have all kinds of unique things. They have your tutorial. Um, they have your a little um, tutorial thing talking to you. Welcome to the world of Echo. Yep. Soul. Use the W at the only way when you want the message, the, the K key open. Every last one of them talks to you and tells you what to do. Pretty in depth. Some of them just pretty much steadily tell you. Then you could just figure it out from there. Which is actually pretty impressive because most MMOs would not do that. But it's weird because. You would think the characters would also have, you know, like voice acting to to that if they took the time to do, you know, the, the little tutorial book. 
but I'm pretty sure all the cons I've talked about you guys can actually get used to. There are a few more, more cons, but I'm pretty sure you guys can figure those out. There are a few more pros, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure those out as well. But, you know, the last thing we're going to do is check the cash shop and see what else they do. Because that's what we normally do, but I did not do that. Because, you know, I don't, like, remember every single thing when I do this. This stuff. So, yeah, I do apologize if I ever miss anything. So, it looks like costumes are also race locked. Okay. That is the thing. Yeah, they race lock costumes instead of gender locked it. So, that is also a thing to note. They have a few good costumes, a few okay ones. Like, none of them like extremely impressive or anything like that. As for hats, they have a few good ones. You can actually just pick that and then you'll see they're really like low selection of costumes you have seems like all of them are pretty even but not too many of them are you know are good I can put on glasses put on like face masks and all that etc etc and then they have pets and mounts Let's look at the mounts. Alright, he looks pretty dope. I can't actually, like, move him around or anything. Move him back so I can actually see his face. Hold back. Those words aren't even in my vocabulary. Hey, you shut up. I'm exploring the, the cash shop. I don't need you talking in the background. Now you have a stallion. I'm going to ignore that and see, and just like that didn't happen okay it's gonna stay up as that's happening but let's change that please you you can ride a boxer all right they have a few pets I don't think the pets actually do anything though hold on yeah the pets are just pretty much just there they don't actually fight or anything they they're just there to be companions. Wow. Okay. So the costumes and cosmetics. I I'm counting that as a con. As for you guys, you guys probably won't count it as a con. Because, like I said, you guys can get used to it. But, we're going to end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Peace out.